Hey everyone, my name is Kaching Song. I am the community manager on the Fusion 360 team. You can see behind me, we're at BattleBots 2021 World Championships. There's about 65 teams here in Las Vegas competing for that number one title. And uh, yeah, we want to give you guys an inside look at some of the teams, what they're like, what inspired them to design the robots that they've designed. And uh, yeah, just an inside look. So come on in and uh, let's check it out. All right, so we're here at the Lucky Station here, and this is one of their parts that they've asked us to basically remake and remachine. You can kind of see how, uh, I think while they were welding, this thing got kind of bent, um, and uh, it's actually really heavy. So one of the things they did was redesign this to optimize it for strength and weight. And uh, what you see right here is actually uh, some of that, those parts coming together. Uh, so I'm gonna put this down and you can kind of see the similarities, uh, but also, ooh, it's nice and shiny. Uh, there's some parts like this, they're still not bolted together and what they're gonna do is actually gonna weld it. So they're gonna weld these seams and there's still this top plate that's gonna go on that's in one of our machines getting machined right now. Uh, but uh, yeah, it's coming together, it's looking real good. They're actually fighting right now, so when they come back, we'll, uh, we'll talk to them and uh, we'll get to learn more about this part. All right, cool. Uh, what's your name? Matthew. Bailey. Matthew. I'm Kaching. Nice to meet you. I feel like we're on a cooking show because we're facing this way and we got, <laughs> we've, got all the parts. we've got all the parts here from, from the first iteration all the way to the newest. Yeah. Uh, walk us through what, what this, uh, yeah, how this come about. Sure. So the, uh, the first iteration here we did um, and it is functional. Um, it's missing a few parts in the front. We have a bit of a smaller box in the front end. Um, oh, okay. And we don't have any support in the back here. And so what we find happens is these ones get, if they get tweaked and knocked in the front, you get this S bend, or you can see in this one that's a little bit messed up. So it, uh, it's, you know, we learned a little bit with this one. You can see it's got a wider back here. And when our, um, our basically dumbbell mechanism, a bunch of compressive rubber inside, it gets squished or if it gets moved out of the place, the big metal shaft in the piston hits there and we destroy our own arm. So in the next generation we had basically a big cutout here, more structural support. We improved the structure in the front end where we hit people so that doesn't get deformed so much and we put a big brace in here to help with strength and so we don't get torqued so much. But uh, still the whole process is Water jet cutting. Ah, oh, yeah. So it's cheap yeah, and yeah, fast. Yeah. So water jet cutting on a manual router. We route all the corners so we can weld everything afterwards, and we can get nice deep penetration. And uh, then we found that we are working with Autodesk and and Hass Mills here at uh, at BattleBots, and so we got to make an improvement because we ran out of arms in the middle of the show this year. Gotcha, yeah. yeah. Basically now this is a, more like an assembly, it all, all gets assembled. So these are the, the jigs in the middle here are for um, welding. So when oh, you weld and you get too it. much heat, yeah. things are going to pull. And so these, these basically hold the spacing so that all the links and everything line up I at see. the right distance yeah. when you put it in the arm. Uh, and this is actually almost finished. You can see we're missing a few pieces. But as soon as it gets done, we bolt all the pieces on, they drop into these big uh, cutouts here, yep. slot and tab cutouts, yep. and then we go and fill all the fillets and in, in the uh, chamfers in as well. Well, hey, thanks for uh, explaining and walking us through this. This is awesome to see. It's really cool to kind of see the the iterative process of you know improving a design, uh, and it's all laid out here, which is which is great. Dude. That was a great fight. That was all right. That was a great fight. Yeah. I haven't driven it in a long time. <laughs> <laughs> you look great driving it though. Oh, that was so good. Can I just do this, go sure. like this, and I'll just ask you some questions. Sure, man. Uh, so I, I'm here with Team Lucky. Yeah. Uh, you guys are pretty lucky this this yeah, season, I guess. Got lucky on that one. One shot and it did the, got him just in the right spot where he couldn't get off of there. So that was pretty good. That's so cool. So let's take a step back and uh, I would love to know more about y you guys and your story. Uh, what got you guys into robotics and why are you called lucky? Oh, so we got I got involved as a fan. I watched it on TV 20 years ago, and I was living in uh, the Bay Area and. Uh, I went to watch it on Treasure Island when it was showing on uh, Comedy Central. Watched it back then, season four, and I thought, I gotta compete in this thing. Nice. Put a team together, we competed at season five. 
and then it went off the air. So we were doing all the sort of the regional events for a long time. But this has been 20 years doing this now. Wow. Yeah. Wow. And uh, why is the team called Lucky? Yeah. So I mean, Lucky. I, I, I like the uh, the understated approach, right? So if we win, we can chalk it up to luck, right? Uh, we haven't always had good luck, but uh, today was pretty good. So it's just uh, you know the Canadian persona and. and yeah. Theme, right? So, yeah, yeah, that's great. I love it. I love it. Hey, let's uh, let's look at your robot. Let's take a look at your robot. So, I think as we as we uh, looked at before, we've made a bunch of parts for you. I think there's still some in. Oh, there's one still getting machined. Yeah. It looks like that that part is essentially this whole assembly here. That's right. Um, yeah. How does this assembly work in relation to the robot? Like, what what is its function? Right. So this is a flipper. And I'll, I'll put it down so you can see the motion, but it, it basically moves up and forward at the same time. So it's a, it's a four bar linkage. Oh, so it, oh it okay. Down and, so when it goes up, it goes up and forward. And usually with the parts that you have, usually we have like a spatula that goes down to the ground. Okay, yeah. Uh, it's gonna scoop. And that's up here. But uh, this is a different configuration that we, we don't normally run unless we have, if we're going against a spinner, we have a big wedge across the I see. So if you noticed, uh, we were under them a few times, yeah. but I couldn't fire because our spatula wasn't under. We had oh. effectively had to get them right over top of us. Gotcha, gotcha. Which basically took the whole match to have that happen. Yeah. Right, and when we finally did, we were able to toss them, and got, them got them up on that spot. How how much force does how much force is this able to, to generate when it's uh, yeah, when it's the flipping? Push force uh, is about eleven thousand pounds of, of push uh, when we do wow. the, the the throw at the start. So it's. Uh, pretty significant well hey thanks so much man I appreciate right. appreciate right. talking to you and uh yeah we would love to see you in the next night the next fight awesome yeah awesome. Thanks. Cool, cool, cool.